Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm not too happy about it because I filmed this video last week and then I gave up with the footage because the lighting was terrible, I looked terrible, everything was just terrible. So now I'm gonna redo it again. A smart person, a smart person would have rewatched the clips of themselves, written out what they had said in those clips and then just done it from a script. I'm not smart, sometimes I can be, not all the time though. I deleted all of the clips in anger, so now we're just doing this again. <laughs> Hopefully it's funny. But before we get into today's video, I need to tell you guys something very important. And that is that this video is being sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is my favourite game that you can play on both mobile and desktop. There are just millions of things to do right there in your pocket or on your desktop if you choose to play mobile games on your desktop. Fine, I'm not going to judge you. Millions of things to do. Billions of things to do. There's collecting artefacts and there's dungeons and you can go on quests and there's dragons and there is just incredible artwork. I mean, look at this artwork right here. Look at these pair of assets. Picasso, who? My favorite thing about Raid Shadow Legends is how accessible it is if you have one of these. Not a Nokia, but one of these. You can just whip it out and play with it anywhere for a couple of minutes, several times spread out throughout the day, if you so fancy. Cafes, restaurants, on the toilet. The possibilities truly are endless with Raid Shadow Legends. Logging in every day when you start playing is very important. You get to do more and progress faster. Raid has a couple of new player programs that give really cool rewards simply for logging in. If you collect them all, you'll get a pretty sweet boost to your account. You can get some cool artefacts in battle, but the best ones can only be obtained once you step into the dungeons. The keeps are full of excellent artefacts. Do not neglect boss battles as the victory is definitely worth the risk. Do not miss your chance to get the most valuable rewards. Joining a clan is a great way to advance quickly in the game. Being a part of a mighty clan will give you access to special rewards such as clan chests, gems, champions and others. Moreover, you can battle the clan boss. If you need advice, you are not alone. Subscribe to the guides on the Teleria world and find out the whole truth about Raid Shadow Legends. Link in the description. Right, so let's talk about what's new in Raid for October. Raid has just released the Artifact Forge, where you can save time and craft artifacts directly, as well as a whole new advanced quest system with amazing rewards. And that's not all, they also brought out some amazing new champions and they're developing the amazing looking Doom Tower as we speak, which I'm super excited about. Say amazing one more time. Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver plus one free champion, Death Chanter. All this treasure will be waiting for you here and make sure you subscribe to the guide on the Teleria world. Thank you so much Ray Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. So I got sent this by a few people including my mum. Why my ghost fiance and I called off the wedding this morning. Amethyst, 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 Amethyst realm. I'm so sure that we did, we? Me and you. You guys, I'm so sure that I did a video on this one because she had sex with ghosts. Well, she had a normal human boyfriend and then she met a ghoul in, I think, Australia. And then she left her boyfriend for the ghoul and they had sex and stuff. And she was gonna, she was gonna marry him. And they got engaged, but now they've gone off. Either I did that video or Jack mate did. I. I can't tell, all British people, including myself, just seem to meld together, don't they? We followed her supernatural story for years on this morning and now Amethyst Realm is back as her ethereal engagement takes yet another surprising twist. After Amethyst met and fell in love with ghost Ray, <laughs> imagine that, she's got a name, Amethyst Realm. His name, Ray, or oh, you know, Steve, just haunts down the local. They've now decided to part ways after he, he began acting oddly, coming home with unknown spirits, well, like vodka and stuff, and acting drunk. 
She joins us to explain why she's now happily single and there's no one for her, dead or alive. Without further ado, let's get into this shit show. Now then, it's a supernatural story we followed for years on this morning after medium Amethyst Realm fell in love with her ghost fiancé, Ray. You dressed in a very sexy negligee yeah. <laughs> and you went into the spare bedroom and, uh, and uh, turned the lights off and waited. I waited and waited for a while and then I got a little bit worried. I thought maybe I'd scared it off by being too keen. Oh, OK. And then some... <laughs> Holly Willoughby's face then. Uh, OK, sure, I believe you love thousands, wouldn't Thing is, though, if you got stood up by a ghost, no one else is going to be able to tell, so you could just pretend that they were there. You could just pretend, couldn't you? No one else, you know, unless I start a seance, I'm not going to know, am I? Just as I'd given up hope and was starting to fall asleep, it came to me. You just had sex. Wait, you, you, had, you had sex? Yeah, I had sex with the so, ghost. With the ghost? Yeah. Yes. You've had these kind of encounters before Zayman said you're a medium, so why was this so personal? Why was it, the feeling different for you? Um, I fell in love with it, I guess. Um, just... Fell in love with it, but his name is Ray, isn't he? So, it. Fell in love with it, didn't I? Like it's an object. Are you objectifying your ghostly lover? This is Amethyst, this isn't on. It's for one. We're hoping to get a hand-fasting ceremony soon. Oh, is that like a marriage? Yeah, it's kind of like a spiritual marriage. Yeah. We were at Wookie Hole last weekend. I've been to Wookie Hole. Cracking place. That's all I'm going to say about that. On a tour, and he asked me to hang back just from the rest of a tour group and then um, proposed to me. The rest of that tour group must have thought she was a bit mental. Goes off by herself, comes back all excited, probably. Imagine, I'm engaged. With who? Well, in a shocking development, the uh, ethereal engagement is now off. Oh. And Amethyst joins us now. To Philip Schofield is either thinking... I can't believe I get paid to do this, or I don't get paid enough to do this. I can't tell. Explain why. Morning, Amethyst. Morning, Thank you Amethyst. For talking to us again. Um, let's, for anyone who... Look, there's a fly on her hair. It's like, um, what happens in the US section? Mike Pence. It's like, it's like that. It's like The Exorcist. <laughs> Anyone who is not, not aware of the story here, I just want to go back to what you knew about him when you met him in Australia. Um, and uh, what did you know about him? What was his job before he died? And how did he die? <laughs> um... That fly just won't leave her alone. Maybe it's Ray come back to haunt her. I don't actually know how he died. I was told he was possibly a sailor by a medium. How did you not know what job your fiancé used to have in a past life and also how they died? Aren't these just standard questions that should come up by the third date? Um, but didn't he talk to you? Why won't that fly leave her alone? <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, really, isn't it? Imagine going on, like, nationwide morning TV and there's flies buzzing around your skull. No, we kind of communicated through energies, mostly. Through energy and emotion, through feelings. So, whose suggestion was it on the plane back from Australia that you had sex in the loo? Was that just an energy thing, or did you have a discussion about that? <laughs> kind of, kind of an energy, I guess. Do you reckon she actually had sex with a ghost, or do you reckon she just masturbated? Yeah. <laughs> OK, so, I mean, obviously things progressed. And last time that we saw you here uh, on the show, you were talking about how much you'd fallen in love and there was this proposal at Wiki Hole. So things were going really, really well. Where are you now? So now we've called a wedding off. Um... How rude. They didn't even say, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. So I think maybe he fell in with a bad crowd when we were on holiday. He kind of, he just started becoming really inconsiderate. He'd disappear for long periods of time. He'd, when he did come back, he'd bring other spirits back to the house and they'd just stay around for days. Nothing worse than that is there when guests just won't stop haunting you. Do you think she believes what she's saying? Does she know that she's talking waffle? And I believe in the paranormal. FYI, I'm scared of ghosts, so I don't really want to go near them. But I, I believe in this, and even I'm saying, does she know that she's full of shit? Right. Yeah. So this was this was, this was Thailand. You where you took him to, wasn't it? You went on a holiday to Thailand. Yeah. And uh, and so was there any explanation as to the to the people that he was bringing back with him? Because you thought he got into sort of drink and drugs. 
Yeah, I think maybe he started doing drugs and partying a bit much. I have to know, how do you do drugs as a ghost? Like, can you take drugs from the material realm? This isn't drugs, it's just moisturiser. Can you take drugs from the material realm or are there ghostly drug dealers that you have to get ghost crack from? How does it work? I need to understand the canon behind this. Because, like, we used to come back, and we spirits would stay for days at a time, and they'd be like crashing and banging, strange noises. So, so when yeah. when you say when you say he was doing drink and drugs, I mean, obviously, you know, a lot of people think, well, how is that? How is that possible? How does a how does a a ghost do drugs? I know I did this this same video like over a week ago, but that's enough time for me to have basically forgotten everything about this. So nice to see that me and Philip Schofield are on the same wavelength there. How does a ghost do drugs? More news at 10. And, and was he partying in the spirit world or was he partying in this world? Well, I think partying in both, judging by the... He'd disappear for a while and then come back to mine, so... She is genuinely just making up as she goes along. I kind of respect it, in a way. She's like Stephanie Mayer. And so yeah. you're used to spirits being around you, obviously. You've got engaged to one, um, but having these bad spirits, as you call them, his new friends, this bad crowd that he'd got in, involved with, you felt for the first time what it would be like to have a haunted house. Yeah. Tell you what, then, you should put some signposts up and be charging, you know, gullible tourists £10 a pop to go in your haunted house, mate. Entrepreneurial ship. Breakups, uh, breakups are never easy. Uh, so, um, so how did you how did you broach the subject with Ray that um, that, that you had to end the relationship? Um, I tried to talk to him, and I gave him one chance after another, and he just didn't change. So eventually, I ended up placing black tourmaline around the house, which keeps spirits away. I did a sage cleansing. I've just been sitting in silence for the past minute thinking bless bless them bless them all for doing this as a job i wish this was my job i wish i could talk to crazy people amethyst realm get in touch let's do a live stream together i want to find out just exactly how a ghost does drugs research purposes only obviously and of course i suppose yeah. he can't come back if you've got black tourmaline all around the house they won't be able to come back in anyway it's like locking him out Is she frozen? No! Cow. Maybe that was Ray. Ray. That's Ray. That's Ray. <laughs> like I say, these two have such a good job. I'm jealous. That's right. We have Not that this, doing this isn't great, but imagine being paid to be on TV just to be like, oh no, the ghost got the transmission. That's right. We have met Ray before. Um, if we try and get her back, let, this, is, this is me chatting to Ray. And by the way, it was Halloween. So he's Ray. Yeah. Okay. Well, Ray, it's a it's a pleasure to uh, pleasure to meet you, um, and um, obviously we couldn't do a research chat with Ray. I'm, I'm not not able to ask him any. Oh, can I ask him a question? You can try. Yeah. And uh, can... what what was it uh, about Amethyst that uh, that made you fall in love, Ray? What did he say? Well, um, he just said our connection. Imagine being that cameraman having to get up early, going to work that day, just to put the camera on to literally, in all ways of the term, dead air. How is morning TV legal? Hey, sorry about that. That's, That's all right. All right. No we, uh, we lost you there for, uh, for a moment. Uh, so I was just saying that you put black tourmaline around the house, so I'm assuming that you sort of locked him out now. He, can't, he couldn't get back in again, even if he wanted to. And that must also mean that you've shut any other future relationships out. Um, I'm happy free and single at the moment, to be honest. Do you, do you think about that, though? I mean, do you think sort of next time maybe you'll think about having a, a more human relationship and you put off spirits? No, next time she's going to have a threesome with a werewolf and a vampire gangbang with a bunch of lock monsters. A tryst with a Bigfoot. You said another thing that fascinated me. Um, it's the fact that to ghosts uh, during these COVID-19 times, ghosts have to socially distance too. Do they? Of course, it affects us all. And so, what are they, are frightened of dying? <laughs> no, of course not. But I think they'd get ill, just as we would. Coronavirus. Is there anything it can't do? So ghosts can get ill? 
Yeah. Wow. I mean... Well, it's always fascinating. It really uh, is. Uh, it really thank is. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. And keep us updated if you meet, if you meet anyone new, whether human form or ghost form. Uh, it's a fascinating story. What lucky people they are to have a job like that. Amethyst Realm, please come on this channel sometime. Let's do a live stream together. I would really like to pick your brain. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like and subscribe. I make new videos whenever I feel like it. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all next time. Bye.